Hey there, and welcome back to Sleep M. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily, and I had the vertical gastric sleeve procedure on January 9th. And in today's video, I wanted to do a product review on Carb Quick. This has been a product that has been recommended three, two, one. This has been a product that has been recommended to me numerous times on Amazon. They know I love the low carb and I thought I would buy this and give it a try. Mainly because I was craving something a little bit um, starchy and this is supposed to be an equivalent to Bisquick um, but with less carbs. So what this is, is for a third of a cup it is 90 calories, 16 grams of carbohydrates, 14 grams of fiber and that makes it two net carbs per um, serving. So you can do lots of things with this. You can make pancakes, pizza crust. We're gonna be making biscuits today, um, but there's just a lot. I mean, anything basically you can make with Bisquick, you can make with this. So we're gonna give it a try. I have not opened the package yet. I've never tried it. And I wanna see how it is. So just opening it up, it does have very similar texture to Bisquick. There are some weird kind of crystallized things. I read um, under the questions on it that this is normal. I read some of the questions on this and it said that it was normal. Um, this is made with carbolose flour, which is an enzyme in rich wheat. It has a vital wheat gluten and wheat fiber. It's high protein, patent wheat flour, soy, beet, soy fiber, canola oil, salt emulsifiers, enzymes, and ascorbic acid. So with that being said, this is not gluten free, which is a little bit of a turn off because I'm not on a gluten free diet, but I do think large doses of gluten can make me feel bloated at times. Um, canola oil, I'm not a big fan of as well. But I'm willing to give it a try and see how it goes. So for the first recipe we're going to make is something called a simple drop biscuit. So it says it's two cups of carb quick and two thirds cup of water. We got my one cup. Two cups. And then we'll put in two thirds cup water. We're just gonna mix this together until it's all combined. So here's the dough, but if you look, you can see those little weird patches throughout. So I'm not really sure what that is, but we're just gonna kind of mix it together with our hands. Um, now this says with six or with six biscuits. Um, it's six grams of protein per biscuit. Um, so Dana brought up a good point is with this, um, since the temperatures only gets up to 350 degrees, you can add some Gen Pro to it if you wanted to increase the amount of protein. But I'm just gonna make it as per what the package instruction says just because I wanna see, since it's my first time, see what it's like, and then we can kinda of see what we wanna to do to enhance the flavor. So here are our finished quick and simple biscuits. You can see it does not take long to make. Since this carb quick can also be used as Bisquick, one of my favorite recipes with the Bisquick was to make a red lobster style cheddar garlicky biscuit. And so I'm gonna to try to make six more using that recipe that I used to use with the Bisquick. For the red lobster biscuits, we are gonna take four tablespoons of cold butter. You want this cold because it's kind of like when you make a pastry type dish where we're gonna cut up the butter so that when you take a bite of a biscuit and you get those bursts of butter, it's because it started off cold and then it heated up in the oven. We're gonna start with four tablespoons, as I said, and then we're gonna do two cups of carb quick. Um, 
just to see. We're going to start with two, and if we want to add more later, we can always add a little bit more. And I could not find my pastry blender today, so what you can use is two knives to kind of work it together and get everything in. I like to start doing this before I add any milk to the mixture, um, which, spoiler alert, we're going to add soon. And then sometimes what I like to do in the end is I take a fork and I kind of just mush it to help get the butter just a little bit more mixed in with the flour. I think that's good. So I'm going to add 3 fourths cup of milk. Um, you can use heavy cream if you prefer, if you're looking to make it a little bit more high fat, um, but we do have some milk here with um, vitamin D, so this is pretty um, creamy. I don't know, you know, you kind of love the creaminess that you get with the higher kind of fat milks. Um, you could try a skim, but it won't be as creamy. Mix this together. And this stuff seems to mix together really fast. I feel like um, there's no problems there. A big chunk of butter. We're going to cut that up. We're going to add a little garlic powder to the mix. Um, I like my garlicky. So you can do about a quarter to a half a teaspoon. I'm just going to eye some out. One thing that's odd is that I don't see in any of the recipes them asking for an egg. Um, and I don't believe you ever put eggs in biscuits as well. But So we won't be putting an egg into these as well. And then we're going to do a cup of... Um, we're going to use Kobe Jack cheese. Cheddar cheese is recommended, especially the extra sharp. But I didn't have any in the house, so we're just going to use some of this. Um, and don't be afraid. Um, it's better to go over a cup than under a cup because everybody loves cheese. And it's low in carbohydrates. And it's just delicious, right? So I like to kind of get everything mixed together with my hands at this point. It seems like a really good consistency, so I'm kind of excited to see how these come out. Sometimes I feel like I can be a little biased because I like go through all this work of making something. I'm like, it has to be good. But I'll be honest, if it's not good, we're not just I'm not gonna make it anymore. That's when I donate the stuff to other people that like to try it, think it they could get it to work. If you think you can get it work, more power to you. So we're going to make our biscuits. Ooh, they smell nice and garlicky. My favorite. So now we have our biscuits ready to go in the oven. I'm a little bit nervous because I probably should have used two different pans, but well, this is an experiment, so we'll see what happens. I have the oven preset to 350 degrees, so I'll put these in there. And it says in about 10 to 12 minutes they should be done. So I'll set the timer and we'll check up on that then. Now that we have the biscuits in the oven, if you have been following my vlog, you know that I have been practicing for weeks for our belly dance performance, which happened last night. So I'm going to show you some of the clips of that belly dancing event. I hope you enjoy because that will in 10 minutes later. We'll get back to the
our buzzer. Let's take a look. Um, and I think we need about two to three more minutes. Okay, let's see what we... So, first impressions, they do not look cooked. They don't have that golden brown texture that you typically see on biscuits. Um, but I was always taught the fork test or the toothpick. If you stick it in and it comes out with any residue on it, that means that it is completed. They do look kind of crunchy on the outside, so I wouldn't assume that they're done. One of the best parts of the Red Lobster Biscuits is that you put butter on top because butter makes everything better. So in my bowl I have about three tablespoons of butter with some more garlic powder, some or dried parsley leaves, and just some salt for flavor. So now I'm going to take that butter mixture we made and kind of just spoon some on to all the biscuits. Then for the non red lobster type biscuits, I'm just going to put some plain butter on them. So I'm going to pop them back in the oven for about another minute and a half to two minutes um, just to see if I can get that golden brown texture I'm looking for um, with the butter on top. Even with the butter on top, they still don't get that golden brown on the top that you'd normally get on a biscuit, but I don't want to bake them too much longer for the fact that I've, I don't want them to dry out. So when I do the infamous cross section, you know, not flaky in the middle, it's more, it's not doughy either, but it's like a dense consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and try just the regular one first with no butter on it, nothing. This is delicious. Oh my God. This tastes just like a biscuit. I'm gonna try some of the cheddar cheese one. Oh my God. I think I could have used, it, used a little bit more garlic powder or garlic salt in it. But I would say these are a very good substitute for biscuits. Um, for two net carbs, I would say it's worth it. I think when you look at the overall, if we were just to do an overview, one of the issues with it is that it's not gluten free and has canola oil in it. And this is not cheap. The Carb Quick on average is about $4.50 a pound, where a box of Bisquick is only around $2.50 a pound. So it is substantially more expensive, but if you are looking for something to get that bread, biscuit, type craving out of the way, this is a very good alternative. I mean, this tastes absolutely delicious. I would probably buy this again, although I have five pounds to go through and I don't foresee that happening very quickly. So overall, this is a great product. I will link the product down below if you wish to take a look or want to try it. And then I will see you next week back here on Sleeve M.